everyone, it's Michelle here or Mish Crafts, and today I'm bringing you guys back with another homemade squishy tutorial. So let's get started with the materials. So the materials are white puffy paint, acrylic paint, various paintbrushes, scissors, sprinkles, which I made out of polymer clay, and some foam. And in my case, I'm using car wash sponges. Before I made the actual squishy, I went and drew a little template and I'm just basically tracing out a circle for the donut shape. Once you're done with the template, trace it onto a piece of foam and cut out the basic shape. Next, round off the rough edges to reveal a donut. Now this step is optional, but I like my donut to have a hole in the middle, so I used pliers to remove some foam and scissors to clean up the rough edges. Now that all the trimming is completely done, it's time to paint the donut squishy. So I like to start off with white puffy paint to make the squishy slow rising. When that's all dried up, it's time to paint the flavor of the base of the donut. So I like to keep mine plain vanilla. So I'm using this caramel color along with yellow and white puffy paint. Since a lot of you guys requested me to make a mini tutorial on how I make my squishy packaging, here it is and the link to this template will be down below so don't forget to check that out. And here I'm just showing you how I basically make the packaging. For this part, I know you guys can't really see well since I'm using clear tape, but basically I am folding the piece of tape in half so that no sticky sides are showing and I tape that onto the opening of the packaging. And here's how the packaging looks like, but something is missing. Duh, the packaging looks so plain without any stickers. So Sticky.Club came to the rescue and sent me two packages of stickers to show to you guys. Sticky.Club is basically a subscription website where for every month they send you either a pop, cute, or retro sticker pack of your choice. And I think that is so amazing because they send out unique stickers, which I've never ever seen before. And here I'm showing you guys the cute and the retro pack of the month of May. Inspired by the Malang or Malang stickers that they sent me, I made a Malang donut box. And here I am showing you guys the stickers that I chose to stick on the packaging. Next, for the panda stickers that they sent me, I also made a panda donut box, which is so cute because I love the stickers. And for the other two boxes, I just continued decorating the packaging with the other stickers. By the way, the link to their website will be down below, so don't forget to check them out. They are literally amazing. Now back to the actual squishy, it is time to decorate it however you like, so I went for the look on the donut boxes.
If you guys recreate this DIY, don't forget to tag me on Instagram at mishcrafts like always because I love to see your recreations. And don't forget to click that like button down below if you stayed this far in this video. Here are the finished squishies in this video. I really, really liked how they turned out, especially the panda one because I think that is literally my favorite. Comment down below if you like pandas as much as I do because they're so cute. But anyways, this video was so easy to follow, so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click that notification button as well as the subscribe button down below to get notified every time when I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!